Hey guys, Tango here with yet another hump day horror. We're still in the hospital. Things are getting a little bit creepier uh, with our, our, our boyfriend Stanley. He's not very happy about our lack of advances. Nah. As always, I've got with me... Nerefear with the buttons. Rampu. And Fluffy. Uh. Who, for some reason, has been taking dating advice from Stanley this whole time. I mean, it does explain a lot, but I'm still disappointed. It's... It's worked out quite well for me so far. How many girlfriends you got? That's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Save that's, by that's the That's really person. good. That's really helpful. You may want to save often. You um, never know from, when. From here going out, yeah, there's some cheap-ass deaths in uh, Silent okay. Hill. So, like... I mean, that is just a fact, because it's Silent Hill. For so. most of the game, it was pretty nice to us, but... It's Silent gonna Hills. stop being nice to us pretty quickly here. Yeah, Silent Hill is pretty fucked up. Oh, you've learned the game? Time to frickin' kill you in ways that you don't understand. Oh, just wait till we get to the carnival. Oh, no. Oh, oh the yes. carnival. Yeah. I could tell you many ways to die at the carnival. No. Like being hit by a train. Which we've already done, so yes, let's try have. something new. There's some pretty flying out of the G force. Pretty machine. spectacular new ways to die in the carnival. Oh yeah, the Ferris wheel, man, that can just break and you can roll for Where days. Are you? No. The merry-go-round can collapse on you. No. The Stay vagina me. monsters can punch you in the face. No. Flowing freely, your ebony hair like the night sky, scattering fragrance. My heart clamoring in its chest like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. Uh. My thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium, it drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me, should never have gone crazy, but it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you. But why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. I like to sign all of my own works. <laughs> yeah, he's a weirdo. Because these are clearly like diaries. <laughs> Hi, nurse. Ah, 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 no. Well, that was quite nice. What are you doing in the broom closet? Were you waiting for the doctor? He's not coming. There's nothing in there. <laughs> Just a um, nurse who got stood there up. There is something you haven't picked up in this, this sort of hallway, though. And that's a sense of direction. Is it my crippling anxiety? Punishment for brutality towards patient. 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. There's something handwritten on top of the typewritten sentence. The trick is not to leave any marks. And one other thing. This looks like it was written by a different person. The chief is a pervert. Christy would have been better off if she had been fired. So, that nurse you just killed? Mm -hmm. Take a wild guess at what her backstory is. Uh, rape victim? No, she beat up a patient, got thrown in the cell, and then the chief of the hospital raped her. Or just stared at her. I mean, it said pervert. We don't know that it was raped, but it's Silent Hill, so it was probably rape. Yeah. I mean, he probably it's put Silent on, Hill. He probably put on the pyramid head mask and went to town. No, oh, that's not where I was going. Cause, just I don't know, pyramid head. Just that pyramid. Who could say no to that pyramid? I sure couldn't. That's the elevator. Well, why are you such a pyramid head fan, girl? It's kind of creepy. It's a little bit creepy. Just a teensy bit. Does he know that you're cheating on him with numbodies? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, he wouldn't be too happy about that. <laughs> Probably be all for it. I don't think so. I think uh, penetration might switch to the uh, blade type when he finds out. <laughs> you know, he has. Someone please animate a. Not animate. Just draw a picture of Pyramid Head crying over finding out. Pyramid Head wouldn't cry. He'd just straight up murder your ass for cheating on him. Make a comic. Make a comic of this, then. This whole thing. Just make a comic of it. Ooh, what was that picture? 
four, five, eight. It is listed six, in your notebook. 1945? 1845. 1845. Or 1849, I can't remember. Oh. I think it's 1845. It is 1845. Yeah! Oh. 2015. <laughs> Get with the times, Did man. I step into another time warp on accident? You did. Why does this frequently. game have been released? What? <laughs> My English tends to go away when I step through time warps, okay? Your American? Messes with your brain. <laughs> A lot of things mess with you in 1845. It's, it's true. Uh, like malaria. Uh, so... I was about to say that. Were you really? Yes. Like legitimately? <laughs> like legitimately. <laughs> so when you go through these doors, uh, the ones on the other side, I recommend you do them in order from one to, to seven. Yeah, but it's a oh. 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 You guys are laughing here if you actually got scared by that. Oh. Oh. No, sir. Are you expecting something coming from the elevator? I didn't realize the nurse was over here. It happened. Oh, Look. hi, nurse. <laughs> you kind of got me. Oh, you guys are so cute. <laughs> I like how this katana isn't actually cutting them, it's more of just slapping them around. Clearly you don't understand the proud art of katana. That's how it works. Katana? What? Stop. So I Stop. go back I'm doing this start, again. start at one. It's, it's, the story progression is better okay. if you start at number one. And I assume we want to start with the patient rooms and not try and go in the, uh, the day room? You can go into the day room if you want. Can you go into the day room if you want? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> what about this one? I don't, I don't, what's the map? Show me the map. She does not look okay. That's the bathroom. bathroom, you can go in there. The rest room. <laughs> oh, okay. Check your health. Uh, she does not look okay. Health is probably she was fine. Just she just sprinted down a hallway. Oh. Look. Yeah, she Big. pants Big. after she sprints. It's pretty cool. Yeah, she, uh, it's a magazine. Realistic. Teaching Despair. Hope House. There's boobies on that mag, though. There yeah, it's are... a celebrity gossip mag, but they always have that one human interest story in the middle. <laughs> oh. An orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Oh, God, this is so long. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organiza organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, who lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night, I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, the, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be a part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it had anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison, or a secret place of worship, or a place to be chased all the way up by a crazy man with a gun who thinks that an apartment is his mother. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It is a religion with deep, uh, it's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I, intended, I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. It's always been, it's always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schrieber. I feel like I've heard that name before. Hmm. Huh. Health drinks. Weird. Yes, it. That fucking orphanage, man. Block's broken. Block's broken. Block's broken. That that counted as two. <laughs> Damn it. Oh wait, that's good. Even is good. That means we gained six subscribers. Oh, he's not happy. Oh shit. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. 
and I had been waiting for this day, for today, the day I'd see you, the day you'd save me, today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... Disgusting. Heather, my... What was his name? Stanley Coleman. <laughs> <laughs> Heather, my Stanley Coleman. Well, that's You're odd. the Stanley to my Coleman. Odd. I am not looking forward to this next room. I don't like this room. S12. A swan tooth. Ooh! A phone call? You wonder who it's for? Not a good room. It's for me. Hello, Stanley. Stanley. Oh, Hello, no. Leonard. Turn around. Hello? <laughs> Claudia. No, I'm not. Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Hmm. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. Salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Shut up, Claudia. Claudia. My name is Heather. Who are you? That's a brother of the wolf. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? <laughs> no. Never. When I find her, I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words. The anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? Good luck. I'm sorry. But... She... She killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> She's a fool. Thank you. Thank you so but much. she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways. But I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here. And I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself. But the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. What's, a, what's a an seal? arctic animal going to do? Yes, that's clearly what he was referring to. Mm -hmm. And and a please, that please, it was very unsettling. I do not trust this Leonard Wolf. The hall on the second floor. I don't trust anyone who says, I'll help you kill my daughter. I was um, going to forgive her if she changed. Yeah. So you're going to want to head to the, uh, the hall of the second floor and get the door and... I think that left us with Eden. Yep. Awesome. That's another, like, <laughs> seven subscribers right there. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Kick ass. Ugh, Leonard. I was so excited when when the original information about Revelations came out. I was super excited because I found out that Malcolm McDowell was going to be playing Leonard. And I love Malcolm McDowell. And I love Leonard. And I thought, you know, this this could not be better. I, I mean, we all know how that ended up, but it was really exciting for a good I'm month sorry. or two. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, I know. Nerefear is so lying to you. Actually, I'm not. He's a liar. 
Wait, about what? About being sorry. Yeah, he's never sorry. Oh, you, wow. should, you shouldn't lie to people like that, Nerefir. So you need to go find yeah, the door at the end of the second hallway. Or the second floor hallway. Wait, where are you? That's a good question. Oh, yeah. Where did you go, Nerif here? Where I'm going. What have you done? Mew. What did you do? Mew. What? Mew. Look at him go. I I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Zoom is. No, 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 no. Mew. Please, both of you, just stop. Zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I'm not the only person who remembers that commercial, thank God. <laughs> Mine was a reference to Scrubs, which was a reference to the commercial. <laughs> God, that whoa, what happened here? Yeah. No. Uh, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't, this is a bad... Yes, Run! Walk faster, please. Run faster. Girl, what you doing? <laughs> you should be you should running. You check your map real quick. You don't have a map. Yeah, have fun. <sighs> right. What will I ever do without my map? Right. Die. Hopefully nothing. Nope. You're going down these corridors. Curtors. It's a maze. It's a gosh diggity darn fucking ventilation system maze. This, this seems like, like a giant vent shaft, honestly. This is uncomfortable. Well, what's going? Oh, you're probably gonna get insta killed somewhere, and I'm gonna laugh. Don't back up. Just can I give you a a, a hint? Yep. Never back up in mazes. Yeah. I was trying to shift the camera. Uh, I. Th with these, this is um, mazes tend to have the. The force perspective. Yeah, the force camera angle. And, uh, typically with Silent Hill mazes, shit comes after you. And it's, it's, I've never seen it come from the front. In Silent Hill, it always comes from behind in the mazes. Uh, which is even, why you never want to back up. Even if it's not a maze, if you're running down a hallway with that camera angle. Just keep going. Just keep going. Force perspective changes are almost never a good sign. Yeah, that's not a good sign. But at least they're closing behind you, shit. So oh. before you do that, uh, because that's not a safe symbol, that, we'll go not. ahead and, and take a break. Oh, it's not, it's just blood. That's not a safe symbol, that is another another icon. Illuminati. Um, but we will come back next week and show everybody what, what that particular symbol means. So we will see you then, guys.